Hi everybody, Dr. Lori Perrin here from Slow and Steady 360. As you can see, I'm somewhere different today. I'm out at Lake Mary, kind of on a whim. I came out on my day off today, and as the day ensued, the sun came out and it got a little bit warmer, and I thought, wow, this would be a great place to do a hit. So I kind of rigged it up from what I had, and I thought we'd do a hit today. We'll do five exercises, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and we're gonna go up in intensity with each one if you want to. And so hopefully you'll join me. We'll start with our normal running in place to get us all warmed up, and let's go. Uh, hope everybody's feeling good today. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. I came out to Lake Mary, I don't know, for a little peace and solitude today. Just really wanting to be in nature. As you can see, I literally have a place to myself. It's been absolutely amazing. Listening to music and getting a little bit of connection back with some friends and working out now. Whew, just feels great. Such a beautiful day. I'm so happy to be here. So the next thing we'll do is squats. Of course, I'm in jeans. So we're just going to do our squats as we've been doing. Your, your feet are shoulder width apart and your feet slowly, legs are shoulder width apart, feet slightly turned out. You just sit down, stand up. Don't fall backwards like me on a hill. Just sit down, stand up, and go. With squats, you want to keep your back straight and your weight on your heels as much as possible. Don't want to be tipping forward too far back. Like I said before, I just think of it as like sitting down in a chair. Just sit down, bring your arms out for some stability. Exhale on your way down, inhale on your way up. I think the breathing part makes a big difference. I know when people have given me feedback with the breathing, they say that um, they really like to hear that, hear when to breathe. Hopefully I'm guiding you guys in the right way with that. We're gonna do plank next. Just start on our elbows. Are you guys loving looking at the lake behind me? Ah! Just engaging that upper abdomen, exhaling on your way up, inhaling on your way down. You do not need to touch your toes at all. This is not about touching your toes. Just up and down, engaging that core, that upper core. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see, what do we do? We did running in place, squats, plank, ab, oh, early burpees, early burpees. So down, back, back, up, up, and stand up. That's our first round. We're gonna increase it as we go each time. Down, back, back, up, and up, and go. Down, back, back, up, up, and up. When you're going back to high plank, you want to make sure that you're keeping that core engaged. You want to make sure you're keeping your belly button like as if it's going up to the ceiling. Really engage that core. 
kind of working mostly on your form here than anything else. Making sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, not too far out. I wasn't expecting to be over so soon, I was talking so much. All right, wonderful, so we're through our first round. So, second round, we'll take it up a notch if you want to. When they're running in place, we'll start by running in place with throwing some punches. So, I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. We have 10 seconds left. Oh, I'm enthralled out here today, you guys. So, running in place, throwing some punches. Even if I wanted to throw punches at someone, being out here today, that just melts away. workout. Thanks again for being with me. So happy you're here. All right. So next we'll do squats. And our second variation of squats will be the squat pulse. So again, we'll get that good form. Legs hip distance apart, feet slightly turned out, sit in our squat. And then we're just going to pulse. Nice, easy little moves for the 30 seconds. If that feels great for you, please do that. If you would rather just do a nice and slow and steady up down pulse, do a um, squat, <laughs> do that for sure. We're gonna pulse here. Again, arms can kind of do whatever you want. I kind of like them at my hips or even prayer position is kind of nice. It's very balancing for me. And then breathing is just sort of nice and easy slow breaths. There's not much with a movement because I'm going kind of fast. So nice and easy. Five seconds left. Beautiful. Our next one we're going to do is the next variation of plank, which for me would just be a high plank. So you get down on the ground. Let me take a quick sip of water. workout. Oh, the next thing I was going to do was after the toe touches, I was going to move to elbow to knee and then bicycle. So with elbow to knee, you just bring your elbow to the knee. The opposite elbow to the opposite knee. And you definitely want to keep your small back on the ground. Somebody asked me about that lifting their back up the ground. You don't want to do that. You want to keep it below your back on the ground. And you want to exhale as you're going towards your knee. Inhale down. And down. And down. Just a nice easy pace. Elbow to knee. All right. Okay, straighten out my yoga mat towel in the back of my car. Huh. If you guys saw the rig I have to set this up, you just laugh at me. But all in the name of fun, right? All right, so our next one is going to be the next burpee, which we're going to go down, jump out, jump back, and come up. Down, jump back, jump back. And if you can, maybe jump at the top. Down, out, in, and up. Down, out, in, and up. Down, exhale, out. Inhale in and up. Down. 
arms are up and working. That one kind of messed up my yoga mat. So I'm going to run back here. Woo, I'm falling backwards. Okay, ready? Let's go. Like my watch is falling off. Okay, so climbing the rope, working on those knees, high knees. And I guess I didn't say, if running in place is hard for you, just do knee ups is where I'd start. I think that's a really good, if you're going to the next level, you could do like two knee up or something like that. Awesome. All right. So the next one we'll do will be squats. And for the variation of squats, we'll do squat jump. So you're in your position of squat, down on a squat, jump up, down with a little jump. Again, wherever you feel most comfortable, that's where I want you to be. So definitely do what feels best. You will absolutely see down, up, that the more you do it, the easier it gets and the further you can go in a pretty short period of time, actually, what's amazing to see. So I just say keep at it, whatever cadence you can. The point is that you're doing it and you're not sitting on your couch eating bonbons. <laughs> Last one. All right. Ooh. I finally see another person, a guy out with his dog. He's pretty far away. He's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing out here. Haha. -ha. One day you'll see me on YouTube. <laughs> All right, plank. So for this variation, we're gonna do shoulder taps. So, high plank. And again, you wanna watch your, your position in high plank, making sure your hands are under your shoulders, your core is engaged, and then lift and touch your opposite shoulder if that feels good. You don't wanna be like all over the place. The key is really trying to stay as engaged as possible. Ooh. Excellent. For the fourth round, I'm sort of going to say everybody do what they want. You can do any of those three variations if you need to take it down a notch or stay in the middle or stay full tilt. That's what I would say for the last round, but we have two more to go. So we're going to do actual bicycles and with the next variation, everything off the ground if you can and want. So, keeping your shoulders and your feet off the ground, just sort of rotating, using those obliques. Remember to breathe. Exhale when you're touching each shoulder, uh, to, uh, sorry, each elbow to your knee. You're almost there. You're so close. I'm feeling this one today, guys. <sighs> Probably because I had a long call day in up a fair amount last night, but we are exercising so we have more energy and we feel great. <laughs> All right, so the next burpee is, if you didn't add the jump last time, I want you to add the jump this time for sure, if you can. So if you're planning on going up each time, let's do that. If you did add the jump, and you want to go all the way down to the ground, do that. It's kind of like a little bit of a going down on your push up, but going all the way down. Woo, these kick my butt. All right, one more. All right, we have one more round. Ah, I'm losing my sun behind the cloud. I wonder if that's making it look kind of cool for you guys. Ah. Last one running in place again. Do whichever variation you want. Ah. 
do a little bit of everything. Hopefully again you don't mind if I'm facing the water. <laughs> Especially as it's changing with the sunlight. Just beautiful. using that upper abdomen to do that. So engaging that upper abdomen and touching your fingers around your knees if you can. If not, just reach in that direction. I have a rock under my back. <laughs> and touch, exhaling as you go up, inhaling down. Engaging that core. All right. Sweet, 30 seconds of rest and we're on to our last exercise. Lori's least favorite. But you guys know why I do it, right? Because it probably is the best overall full body workout that you can get. When my friend Marion first did them, after doing like 50 of them, she totally just threw up. I don't blame her. Blah. All right, let's do it, guys. Out, in, and up. Or just a step back. Up, and up, or all the way down. And up. Come on, you guys, we're almost there. 15 seconds left. Down, out, in, in, and up. Out, in. Up. Ah! Thank you so much, everybody, for being with me today. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here. I feel so grateful for my life and where I live and all of you. I really appreciate you hanging in with me and working with me on Slow and Steady 360. I'll see you soon. Bye.